Joseph YouTube, welcome to the coffee pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Feminist gives dating advice. Now guys, you're gonna wanna hear this one. No more wasting time, let's get it. The non-negotiables, what are those things that, what are those red flags, those immediate red flags? Okay, I feel qualified to answer this as a feminist who is engaged to a man who I feel very strongly is worth being married to. And um, after experiencing dating men who are very openly misogynistic, these are my green flag, red flag guidelines. Number one, most important, he needs to be obsessed with you and not obsessed with the way that you make him feel or the way that you look, but like obsessed with you as a person, who you are. That is not negotiable that is necessary okay two i never really hear anyone say this but he needs to think that you're funny misogynistic men make it like their personality that they don't think women are funny women are funny and your man should think you are hilarious <laughs> uh women are funny like how if you're if you want people to think you're funny then you become more funny. Some people think you can't really work on stuff like that, but I'm just trying to point out here, guys, that like, it's no surprise that this woman is describing a simp, that a feminist, um, her perfect man would be uh, a man who pedestalizes her, puts her on a pedestal, thinks she's hilarious, is extremely obsessed with her, and I bet bends over backwards while she um, approves and disapproves of his behavior. Let's keep listening. Three, he's emotionally intelligent. Bonus points if he's an emotional person, like cries, is not afraid of showing emotion. <laughs> that is huge green flag. Your friends should feel at ease and like comfortable around this man. They should like want him to be around. Of course, not like every time the girls are hanging out, but they should want him to be around. Of course. God forbid he comes off like an actual man. Make sure he is like one of the girls, right? He should be there and they shouldn't be able to tell that there's toxic masculinity in the presence. You should get to be a little bit mean to him at some times and it doesn't phase him and he doesn't get to be a little bit mean back in the same way because we live in a patriarchy. It's not the same thing. So you can treat him like shit and... He shouldn't get to be mean back. Guys, are we all listening to the same thing? He should do labor without you having to like consistently nag and like of course. force him to do it. It should be something that like as an adult, he can just like clean and cook and help out with things. Red flags. If he refers to women as females, no. If he refers to any exes he has ever had as crazy or psycho, no. Immediately a red flag. Probably not true. Uh, if he raises his voice at you, red flag. If when you like bring up something that bothered you or like you're kind of having an issue, if he what abouts you, like you bring up something that bothered you and he says, what about this? What about this? In a way to like come back at you. Once it starts, it will never end. The what about is a huge red flag. If he does or likes pranks, no matter how trivial and small, no. If he is rude to service workers or homeless people, red flag. If you feel you have to like water down your feminism at all because you're worried about his reaction being negative, red flag. <laughs> if anything he does compels you to make a pro con list, no. I used to facilitate these like healthy relationship workshops in college for undergrads and we would do this activity where you would like put onto paper in quadrants like what you're looking for, the qualities you're looking for in a partner um, to like help you navigate. And I've helped like many of my friends break up with partners with this activity. Let me know if you want an example. <laughs> so we have a woman here. Uh proud feminist who's about to get married and divorced who's bragging about how she's helped a bunch of her friends break up relationships because the guys weren't feminine enough they weren't simping enough in that situation this is crazy so you got these comments see what the people have to say which i'm assuming are going to be most likely a bunch of feminists agreeing with what she has to say first comment here says friends being comfy with a boyfriend is so important you should not have to convince your friends that your boyfriend is a good person because if he is, they'll know. Another person here says, can you be specific about 
why your partner is worth being with. I just feel like the other shoe always drops and you see the toxic masculinity. Here's a mistake that, of course, this woman is going to inevitably make. I'm 100% sure about this. Eventually, this man, like all men who decide to pedestalize women, we realize this woman isn't as amazing and spectacular as I once thought she was. She also has flaws. She's not meant to be worshipped like she wants to be. And he will stop being obsessed with her because that's what happens in relationships. Things uh, play their course. And a lot of people in that situation, women more often than men, usually take that opportunity to now say, well, you've, you're, you're changing. Um, it's not like it used to be. I miss how you used to be, you used to obsess over me, etc. And he will stop seeing her as the goddess that she sees herself to be. And instead of accepting this, that's just a part of relationships. And yes, you know, you can work on things and you can spice things up in relationships, etc. She'll then use that as an excuse to divorce this man. Guaranteed. I just got a few more of these comments. Another comment here says, what about the, it was a joke response every time I say, I don't like that. Another person here says, just get your passport and go lads. So you got a passport bro here responding and somebody else, a woman says, for sure, bro, go traffic a woman. That'd teach us with the laughing emoji. Hilarious. The thought of running to another country just to find some peace with women because Western women are mostly lost to other women. They'll accuse you of trafficking, right? Here's another comment that says, why do you feel entitled to be a little bit mean to him and not expect the same in return? Would love an explanation of that. So this person's like, why do you think you can be mean and he can't? Because it's not about equality, man. We all know feminism is about control. Women want to feel like they are dominating the men that they're with. I can do this, get away with bad behavior, and you just have to take it because I'm a woman and I am queen. Now, the comment here in quotation marks says, if you have to water down your feminism, a huge yet subtle red flag. Now, the comment here says, oh, this is hilarious. Listens to Joe Rogan slash Andrew Tate, Jordan Peterson. It's funny for me to see that and realize that feminist group all these people in the same box when really they're a little bit different right but to all these women strong masculine men are a red flag and are dangerous i'm just a little bit offended that the coffee pod is not on this list when are we going to make it somebody else here responded a woman said and ben shapiro my abuser listened to all of them <laughs> and didn't know and i didn't know who they were yet Here's another comment from another woman that says he needs to be generous, even small things like flowers and not just on special occasions. Yep. Consistently pandering and simping. Another comment here says being with someone who like you and not how you make them feel is so important. And so you might be wondering what she's talking about here. Well, if you like her just for being her and don't expect her to treat you with respect and don't have any expectations for her and how she um, treats you, that's an ideal situation for a woman who doesn't want to have a standard, wants to act however she wants without consequence. Another comment here says, this helped me realize my ex was none of these green flags. Another comment here says, he uses my jokes and lingo, so I'll take that as a good sign. Another comment responded back to that chick and says, my ex did this, but never gave me credit and always claimed it as his own. Okay. Another comment here says, I don't think I've ever met anyone who's obsessed with me unless it's the first three months of love bombing. Yeah, there you guys go. As always, I'm curious to know, what do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of The Coffee Pod. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.